Hello and welcome to the flight simulation of Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. On the 10th of March 2019, at about 0544 hours UTC, Ethiopian Airlines Flight Echo Tango 302, a Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed shortly after takeoff from Addis Ababa Bol International Airport. The flight was a regular scheduled international passenger flight from Addis Ababa to Jomo, Kenya to International Airport in Nairobi, Kenya. There were 157 passengers and crew on board. All were fatally injured and the aircraft was destroyed. The following chronological history of the flight was reproduced from verified data and times given are in UTC. At 5.36 the airplane lined up on runway 07 right at field elevation of 7,656 feet with a flap setting of 5 degrees and a stabilizer trim setting of 5.6 units. Both flight directors were on. LNAV and VNAV modes were armed. Auto throttle was also armed. At 5.37 the first officer reported to tower ready for takeoff. ATC advised the crew to stand by and the first officer confirmed, standing by. ATC issued takeoff clearance and advice to contact radar on 119.7. Following the takeoff clearance, the crew advanced the throttle and checked the stability of the engine's parameters. The takeoff roll began from runway 7 right.
One minute into the flight, the first officer acting on the instructions of the captain reported a flight control problem to the control tower. Two minutes into the flight, the plane's MCAS system activated, pitching the plane into a dive toward the ground. The pilot struggled to control it and managed to prevent the nose from diving further, but the plane continued to lose altitude. The IMCAS then activated again, dropping the nose even further down. The pilots then flipped a pair of switches to disable the electrical trim tab system, which also disabled the IMCAS software. However, in shutting off the electrical trim system, they also shut off their ability to trim the stabilizer into a neutral position with the electrical switch located on their yokes. The only other possible way to move the stabilizer would be by cranking the wheel by hand. But because the stabilizer was located opposite to the elevator, strong aerodynamic forces were pushing on it. As the pilots had inadvertently left the engines on full takeoff power which caused the plane to accelerate at high speed, there was further pressure on the stabilizer. The pilots' attempts to manually crank the stabilizer back into position failed. Three minutes into the flight, with the aircraft continuing to lose altitude and accelerating beyond its safety limits, the captain instructed the first officer to request permission from air traffic control to return to the airport. Permission was granted and the air traffic controllers diverted other approaching flights. Following instructions from air traffic control, they turned the aircraft to the east and it rolled to the right. The right wing came to point down as the turn steepened. At 8.43, having struggled to keep the plane's nose from diving further by manually pulling the yoke, the captain asked the first officer to help him and turn the electrical trim tab system back on in the hope that it would allow him to put the stabilizer back into neutral trim. The demon was awakened by the restoration of electric trim. MCAS kicks back in pushing the nose steeply down. There's no reason for the system to deploy at this speed. It was added to the 737 MAX to prevent unintended stalling at low speed. Hardly a danger with the plane at the high end of its speed envelope. But its designers apparently failed to consider that this kind of situation might arise. The captain and first officer pull back on their yokes with all their strength, but the nose plunges until the aircraft is barreling toward the ground. The pilots are left hanging in their straps as the indicated airspeed blasts through its design envelope. Any passengers not wearing their seat belts would be wrenched from their seats, dropped back down, then flung onto the ceiling as the plane's dive steepens. The view out the window would have been of a sickeningly raked horizon underground, drawing nearer with palpable velocity. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 impacts a farm at nearly 700 miles per hour, creating a crater that is 90 feet wide and 120 feet long, 
Wreckage is driven into the soil up to 30 feet deep and everyone on board is killed instantly. May their souls rest in peace. <laughs>